Who's running your life? Who's in control of your life? Is it you? Is it somebody else? Is it some organization? Is it the government? Is it the, the world at large? That's what I want to talk about today. I had kind of a synchronistic uh, situation again happen today. Uh, I was flipping through during my first or second cup of coffee. I don't remember which. Uh, I was flipping through a book that Hallie gave me for Christmas. Um, many of you know Hallie. And it was, it is The Art of Inner Peace, you know, by Bodie Sanders. Uh, I don't know if many of you are familiar with, uh, with Bodie Sanders. I don't know him. Well, he and I belong to this, to a particular martial arts group. I'm sure that we have, uh, many, uh, mutual friends, but I don't know him. He does, he has a website called, um, the wisdom warrior.com. And I've read his stuff. He's quite a thinker. He's, he's one of the real thinkers in the martial arts and a philosopher. And, uh, I've, I've enjoyed his stuff a lot. And I had introduced him, not physically, but I had sent in the past some of his stuff to Hallie. And so for Christmas, she surprised me by giving me this book. And, uh, any book I think is, is, uh, that's worth anything. Uh, you ought to be able to open it to any page and pretty much the first paragraph you see, and if not the first, at least the second, uh, should have something in it that's worth reading, worth thinking about, worth reflecting on. And, and this book, um, did just that. I, I opened it to a page and he has a lot of, of thoughts and quotes from other people in it that are always great. I love quotes because you know, no matter how, what I think of, I find out there's already been people smarter than I, uh, who have come up with the same idea and have said it much better than I can. And so I, I enjoy reading what they've already uh, thought and said. Well, he, uh, I opened up the, the, to this and uh, the first paragraph that I laid my eyes on said, when you take responsibility for everything in your life, you are in charge of your life. No one else is to blame for your failures or your hardships, and no one else is responsible for your victories, successes, or inner peace. Oh, I think that's just great, and I'm sure that most of you agree with that. Uh, I, there could be a lot of people, or not a lot, there could be a few people out there that are kind of starting to argue with that, and I'm going to address that in a minute. Uh, the second thing that happened was that something came up on, on my, my YouTube feed from a, uh, a channel that I, I watch, I subscribe to, and I enjoy very much. Very, very smart guy. Uh, Modern Refugee. And his, his uh, thing today was he was talking about a, uh, well, he's talking about being responsible. Again, just like that. Uh, he had witnessed a situation in the last day or two at a, at a store, and he was talking about it. And uh, to where somebody was very upset that a whole lot of other people uh, for her, his own failure uh, to prepare in something. And, and I would suggest, if you don't watch Modern Refugee, you should just go over and just, just you know, put up in the search bar Modern Refugee and go watch it. Uh, he is, uh, he's one of my favorites. Um, he, he knows the old ways. Um, he is, uh, I won't call him a throwback. I'll call him a, a, um, maybe... Well, he knows, he knows the old ways. He enjoys the old ways. He lives the old ways. He brings a lot of grandpa's, you know, knowledge and philosophy, even though he's not that old, uh, to, to the present. Uh, you'll like him if you don't already watch him anyway. Uh, that's what he was talking about. Who's responsible? Who's in charge of your life? You know, when we get to, to a new year, and I know that uh, the, the last year has been a challenge for a, a lot of people. Uh, and for some people, it's just been horrible. You know, there's, there's been a, a lot of loss, uh, whether that be job or friendships or, um, personal losses, you know, uh, it has been a horrible year for many. It hasn't been for me. It's been, it's been a great year. I have nothing at all to complain about. Um, but for many, it has been. 
And, you know, when we come to a new year, it's, it's, there's nothing magical about it because really every day is a, is a new start. Uh, I would contend that every thought, every moment is a new start. You know, <clears throat> from whatever moment we find ourselves in in life, we have an open slate ahead of us and we can make of it what we will, you know, and especially if we rely on God's direction for it. I always say that no matter where you are in life, uh, God has a perfect path set for you if you will follow it. Many of us don't all the time, or sometimes we try to and we stumble off the path. We find our way back and then we find, ah, that path is leading in a good way. Uh, but but anyway, even though each day and each moment is a potential new start, the new year has always been seen as, you know, the emotional, you know, since we started following calendars, the emotional new start. We reflect on what's happened in the past year and we look to the next year and um, and determine to do a little bit better, right? Um, a lot of that simply... You know, it has to do with who you think is controlling your life. Uh, we all have known people who, for you know, whatever reason, uh, they live a life of victimhood. We see the comments here sometimes, uh, not too often on this channel, but but we do occasionally about I can't do this or I have you know. They they just they just want to list uh, the litany of problems of all the reasons they can't do things, all the reasons that things haven't worked out for them in their life. Uh, you know, you can meet there are people you can meet in ten minutes. You're gonna hear every uh, bad thing that ever happened to them. You know, perpetrated on them by other people and making themselves the hero. And and because of this, their life is 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 wrecked. But somehow they. I don't know. They 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 take a, a certain identity from that. It's it's a it's a a self fulfilling prophecy of continued failure. Um, but uh, but some people find that to be a more comfortable place than you know getting up and doing their best and occasionally taking a hit and falling down and getting up again and going at it some more uh, for whatever reason. Going into the new year. Uh, the most important thing for anybody having a, a challenge out there is to understand that everything that has happened to you, well, wait, wait, let me back, not everything. There are some things beyond your control, but for the most part, the positions you find yourself in, most of the things that have happened to you have been as a direct or indirect result of what you have done or what you have not done. And those things began with your thoughts. Okay, Were you thinking right? Were you not thinking right? It's easy to go into the, to the new year and say, okay, I want to increase uh, this, this aspect of my preparedness. Okay. Or uh, I want to write this many books, right, in my case. Or, and by the way, some people have asked, for those of you who have been asking, where's book number five, The Blessings of Freedom? I think I've got about one more month uh, of writing and then about a month usually it takes of editing. So I think we're getting close. I'm, 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 I'm realistically looking at two months, you know, God willing, we'll see. Uh, but, you know, wh whatever it is that you think need to be changed, the change begins in your mind. It begins in in your understanding or realization or idea, whatever, of what's important to you, of what needs to be done, and then taking ownership of it. Say, it's not up to anybody else to do this. It's not if the cards fall right, if not, if this happens, if that happens, if I get lucky, yeah, and I know the people are saying it's better to be lucky than good, but I, you know, you're also familiar with the saying that it seems like the the the, or the harder I work, the luckier I get. You know, that's right. So th those are kind of the uh, uh, the two opposed, you know, ideas in this thing. Uh, your ideas, 
Your ideas will manifest in your actions. Your actions will manifest in what happens in your life, good or bad. Uh, that's probably, and we don't talk about this probably enough, uh, that is the basis of preparedness and survival and just living a great life. You know, I've, I've talked about, I'm not, I'm not much of a doom and gloomer, although I do talk about the horrible things that can happen, and I prepare for the horrible things. But uh, that's really about living a great life, and that's the life you should try to live. You know, not the minimal, not the just barely surviving, but a great life, whatever that means to you. And it means different things to different people, you know. What I consider to be a great life doesn't have to be your idea of a great life. Okay. Um, so I think that I'll leave it. If, if you, any of you wanted to, to see what that book was again without rewinding, I'll hold it up again. I think it's great. I'm sure you can get it on Amazon. Uh, uh, Bodie Sanders, The Art of Inner Peace. Uh, and uh, Modern Refugee. Check him because he's good. And uh, I hope that your coming year is full of inner peace and happiness. And that you, if you haven't taken charge, complete charge of your own life, I hope that you'll see the way to do that. Because living a life that's under the control of someone else who doesn't have your best interest. Now, you know, I, you know, I'm not talking about, you know, marriages and relationships. <laughs> I could just see somebody, yeah, somebody told me to do something. I shouldn't have to. Yeah. No, I'm talking about, I'm talking about things, you know, uh, organizations, governments that don't have your best interest in mind. If your if your life and your happiness and your peace depends on things outside of yourself like that, you need to realign, get back, um, uh, Prayer's good. Let God direct your life and you do what he says. And this year should be a good one. Okay? No matter what happens in the world around you, this world can be a great one. And this year can be a great one. Okay? You all have a great day. Remember that we prepare well today in order to live well tomorrow. And um, prepare well by thinking right. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.